I'm a witness with the forgiveness because for a long time, I was, when I went through my situation, I was very angry. Mm. And once I looked in that mirror and forgave my perpetrator, I've been going ever since. Yeah. But you have to let it go, and it's hard. And when I told people I did that, they looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very unnatural. And when you get into the book, you'll learn, you know, about different parts of our brains where, you know, things are seem natural, but then there's a higher level of thinking, which is God's level of thinking, that we have to, to get up there too. Because it's very unnatural. It, it does require your will to do it. Um, but it's the same for me. It never even crossed my mind to forgive my ex-husband. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, you know, I've, I've experienced so much freedom and healing, you know, when I did it. And I did it. Yeah. One of the things that you had mentioned also, um, I forgot whether it came under guilt or, or failure, but um, you said sometimes you have to forgive, ask for forgive, ask, uh, forgive God or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, several years ago, I was in the hospital um, diagnosed with congestive heart failure. So, you know, when you're in the hospital, all you can do is uh, lay on your back and look up. Mm -hmm. So while I was laying on my back looking up, God said, you've trespassed against me. So that scripture that you read in Matthew mm -hmm. uh, 6, where it says that we don't if trespass against others and we don't forgive them, God can't forgive us. Mm -hmm. And so I had to ask God to forgive me for doing some of the things that I knew better, mm -hmm. but I did anyway. He, he said, you were trespassing against me. So I really had to ask God for forgiveness for that. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, and it's something that, you know, you should let marinate in your soul and spirit because um, it's, it's deep. I mean, it's, it's, and it's, it's continual. Um, yeah, so I, I encourage you to, you know, continue reading and yes. I just want to take you back off of what she just said because you said something earlier too where you said forgiveness has to be given in all areas of that problem. So I, I, I was sitting here thinking how my children's father, I tend to forgive him a lot of the things that he does, even though he continues to hurt us. But um, my thing is, I'm always making excuses. He's making an effort to be there and to be a part of the children's lives, so it's okay. But my oldest son, I haven't forgiven his father for not being there. Mm -hmm. And my father, I mm -hmm. haven't forgiven him for not being there. So essentially what you're saying is if I'm not applying that to all of these, and, and then, mm -hmm. I'm not being forgiven of And you still have that chain on, you have that chain still on you. 